keeping with the order of speakers, our first speaker this evening will be Brother Bruce Brigham from the Colbert from the Colbert Church Christ in Houston, Texas. The subject matter will be Christian liberty. It's not a license or law. Now, in Second Corinthians, third chapter, seventeen verse, and we're going to have another verse of the song. The next speaker will be Brother Bruce. Lord, the people praise you. Lord, the people praise you. Oh, we lift you up, oh, we raise you. Of who 
He is. Now, I can go to 1 Timothy 4 where it talks about a spirit. But it's not the Lord's spirit. But this is the Lord's spirit. Yeah. He said that the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yes, sir. Paul makes it clear. The solution against the uncontrolled, unregulated, unrestrained license to sin is the spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Let me say that again. In order for a man to know the difference between right and wrong, he's going to have to go to the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. And my Bible says that Jesus was going to send the Spirit of truth. Yeah. And it was going to guide us, and it is guiding us through all righteousness. Yes. Christians are not to abuse okay. the liberty given in the law Amen. for an occasion or opportunity to please the flesh, well, well. the sinful nature of all men. Amen. I better say that again. Because sometimes we get confused and we want to say they sin. We don't practice sin. But none of us are perfect. So we must understand that we should not abuse the liberty given in the law for an occasion mm -hmm. to please the flesh, wow. the sinful nature of me. Christian liberty is the freedom to serve God through the Spirit given to us at our conversion. Mm -hmm. When we were baptized, the Bible says in Acts 2 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus the Christ for the remission of your sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes, All members of the Church of Christ know that scripture yeah. backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. right. But the Bible also says in Romans 8 and verses 9, right. he said, But ye are not in the flesh. That those of us who are Christians and we have received the gift of the Holy Spirit, he said that our lives should not be in the flesh. All right. Well, why is that important? Because where there is liberty, there is opportunity also. And too many of us are at the point where we want to take the opportunity to plead me, myself, and I, and the Lord said that that's wrong. All right. He said, but we are not in the flesh. But in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is not of you. Not you. Well, the right. question I have to ask myself is, if I do have the spirit of God. Amen. Good question. If I have. Right. Because that's a question every man has to ask. If we have the spirit of God, then why are we drifting? Amen. Amen. Not them. I'm not going to talk about them. I want to talk about us. Great. All right. Great. See, I can't worry about them. I got to worry about me. Great. See, I got to make sure that Bruce stay in the straight and narrow. Right. And I'm here to say that if we don't watch ourselves, we'll be drifting with the rest. Yes. Right. Great. Right. Now that we know that as Christians, we have the spirit of the Lord. That's right. The question becomes, what liberty we have as Christians? All right. We have been taught that we are free from the law. We are not controlled by the law. We are not constrained by the law. But what is the true meaning 
and understanding of not being controlled about the law, mm. not being restrained about the law. That's a question that we need to ask. Because if we don't watch ourselves, we as Christians will get to the point where we think that we have the liberty to do what we choose. Not so good, not so good. And the Lord has never Amen. given us that opportunity. That's right. That's right. You no, know, I have to deal with my brothers in Christ when it comes down to giving. Some brothers are teaching that the Lord says we give as we please. If the Lord tell us how to sing, Preach. what to pray, what sermon, tell us how we are to you, and he says the love of money is the root of all evil, now he's telling us, well, just give like you could, because I know you're going to no way and no sir. When it comes down to God's truth, God has not left us empty handed. Amen. The Bible says in, in Hebrews, the ninth chapter, verse 15 through verse number 17, for this call, he is the mediator of the New Testament, by that by means of death for the redemption of the transgression that were under the first uh, <coughs> testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also be the necessity of the death of the tester. For a testament is in force after men are dead, otherwise it is of no strength well, at all. Uh -huh. I'm married to Tanya. Mm -hmm. And when I die, my last will and testament should be carried out, carried out by the executor that's the name. Well, Why are you saying that, Brother Brigham? Because if they find two wheels, the one with the last bay on it that's is right. going right. to be the one. That's right. Man. Brother French, I think I'm right on that. Right. Yeah, I'm all right on that. Right. That's the law, y'all. I'm making sure I'm right. They're going to take the last <laughs> and that's the one the judge is going to say it is in force. That's right. The Old Testament has been nailed to the cross. Yes. It has been taken away. Yes. There is not two testaments in existence at one time. We are not under the old law. We are under the new law. Amen. 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 So I can't go and get what I want out of the Old Testament. And then say, well, I have the liberty. You don't have the liberty to do that. Amen. 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 Good preach. Stand up on it. What we need to understand is that the old law has been held to the cross. That's right. That's right. And where we make our mistake is we don't understand that the, the liberty that's been given to us is the liberty to be obedient. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Good. But the Bible says in Romans 6 and the verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus the Christ our Lord. We all, the Bible says in Romans 3 and in verse 23, the Bible let us know that we all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by the grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God had set forth to be the propitiation through faith in his blood. Let me talk about that. See, when Jesus died on the cross, he took away the penalty. Amen. The penalty is death. Amen. The Bible says our sins separate us from the Lord. That's right. We are dead. But the Bible also says that the wages of the sin is death. Meaning that when we sin, God can strike us down and we can die. But he took away that penalty. Through justification, he has stood in all of our places. Amen. I got to say that. Amen. I got to say that. Because sometimes we as members of the Church of Christ, we don't understand that the Lord have mercy on 
Elijah from Phoenix. Yes. Like he's having mercy upon us. Yes. God is a just God. Amen. You can say if you die in your sins where I am, you cannot come. Yes. Yes. But as long as they have breath in their body, Give us hope. Give they us hope. have a right yes. to hear the truth Amen. and obey. Amen. No man is so bad the Lord says Amen. that he has not the right to salvation. Amen. But I want to talk about this liberty. Mm. Because what man wants to think and us as members of the church are beginning to believe Fix it. that we have the liberty and the freedom to do that is what we choose not so. to do. Not so. Brothers and sisters in Christ, not so. I'm sorry. Not so. That's not true. Amen. We don't have the liberty to make mockery of the Lord's service. Man, God. We don't have the liberty that was preach. to say, well, you know, it makes me feel good. God bless. Preach. Preach. What are you pleasing? Are you pleasing God? Oh. Are you trying to please in yourself? Good preach, bro. We say at the Cloverland Church of Christ when our worship service is over. We say we pray that God has accepted our singing. Amen. He has accepted our prayers. Yes. Yeah. He has accepted the message. Mm -hmm. We have fellowship with him yeah. in communion. Great. We have given back a portion of that which he has given to us. Yes. And our prayers at that moment is that the Lord say amen mm -hmm. to our worship. Amen. amen. That needs to be your prayer. Amen. Yes, sir. And I'm just afraid that many of us, if we don't be careful, Acceptable. the Lord That's is right. not going to say amen. That's right. Because he's not accepting there you go. our style of worship. That's right. That, right. that right. we are saying we have a right no. because of the liberty. Not so. Not so. Not right. so. Good. 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 The Bible says in Romans 7 and verse 6, but now we are delivered from the law. Listen. He said we have been delivered from the law, which is the penalty of the law. Yeah. I, I got to keep saying that because there is a law that all men must obey. Great. And that is the law that Jesus died for when he went to the cross. Amen. He said the spirit of truth is going to come and it's going to guide you in all truth. And what the spirit of truth has done is told us what the Lord wants us and command us to do. And we don't have a choice. Amen. Amen. He said, but now we are delivered from the law. Amen. That being dead therein, we were held. That we should serve in newness of the spirit, not in the oldness of the letter. That's right. I got to deal with that for a moment. That's right. You see, I tell the world all the time. And you, you want to go get 150 songs and talk about music? Well, don't get that part that says all disobedient kids are to be stoned to death. You wouldn't be here. I know I would run. So, see, you, 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 you can't go get part of the law. Free, free. The, 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 law, the law said if you guilty in one, you guilty in all. That's wild. That's so, wild. you need to leave the old law and deal with the new law. That's wild. And the new law give us no right, nowhere, to worship God the way we want to worship God. Amen. 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 Yes. See, when Jesus died on the cross, he made life for us clear and plain. Amen. Amen. And listen to what he said. He said that we should serve in the newness of the spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. I can't understand for the life of me why members of the church of Christ have been saved from the world and we want to look like the world. Amen. Amen. I don't want to look like the world. I want the world to look like Jesus. Yes, Amen. Help us, preacher. Help us. Man. And if we start looking like Jesus, We'll understand we don't have the freedom That's right. That's right. to do what we think that we are free to do. Our delivery, our liberty in the Lord, deliver us from the loneliness and the newness of the spirit. Peter tells the church of Christ at Galate. He said, For brethren, Galatians 5 and verse 13. 
He said, for brother, we have been called unto liberty. Only use liberty for an occasion. Only use not liberty for occasion to the flesh. That's my argument, church. We come together to worship God in spirit and in truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we don't come together to walk out, out, out here smiling and grinning. Mm -hmm. Saying, oh, I got my praise on. Oh, oh my God. God. I, I, I'm not the one that likes to, to, oh, to try to, to tie down brothers and sisters in Christ. But worship is not about you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So when I leave here, Amen. I'm not going to be worried about how well I preach. Amen. I'm going to be worried about did the Lord receive the message that I laid out while I was preaching. Yes. I want to know if God is going to say amen when I finish preaching. Yes. Why? Because my style and my life is in the newness of the spirit. It's not in what I used to be. Yes. Oh, that's good preaching. Every day. Yes, my life ought to be being good and good. Yes. Bad grammar, but good that's communication. Right. Three sisters, the school teachers, when I'm preaching, and Sister Melton and Sister, Sister Bailey, those my aunties, uh, I have to make sure that I pronounce those words right. But I like good and good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lifestyle for the Lord. Every day, every moment of my life ought to be getting good. Amen. Better and better. Yes, we got it. Amen. the commandments of God. Amen. He said, only use not liberty. For occasion to the flesh, Man, flesh, man. but by love, he says, serve one another. Mm -hmm. You know what that means, Tommy? What's that? As a gospel preacher, yes, he said, you are supposed to serve those brothers and sisters in Christ yes. that are walking contrary yes. to the truth. Yes. You know what that means, brother? We don't have a right to back down. Jesus didn't tell any of us that we were crawfishes. He said we were servants of the cross. So the question concerning our Christian liberty is who are we pleasing? The Spirit of God. Yes, sir. Yes. Or the Spirit of men. Yes. Our liberty is as Paul has said. Through the newness of the Spirit. Yeah, that's it. And I think about the newness of the Spirit. I think about when I was baptized for the remission of my sin. He said, when I came up out of the water, I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Yeah. But see, sometimes we think that all we're supposed to do is stop cursing, stop lying. <laughs> Stop sleeping with my brothers or uh, wife. <laughs> but God wants us to live a life that's conducive to salvation. Amen. Amen. See, the newness in life means that I'm going to serve God. Amen. Yep. Newness in life means that I am going to teach the absolute gospel. Mm. My new life says that I'm to tell every man how he's obeyed the gospel. That's right. Uh, 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 not by a handshake. Three. Every man must hear God's word, but hear his word, repent of his sin, confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and be baptized for the remission of their sin. And we cannot shortcut God's, shortcut God's plan. Amen. 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 And why are we there? We have to teach our brothers and sisters in Christ. When you bring shame against the Lord's church, you need to make a public confession. Yes. 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 You know, we, we can tell the world what the world needs to do, but what do we need to do? Right. See, we got some, some, some people in the Lord's church people don't respect because they never hear them say anything that sounds like a confession. Somebody mm. uh, say, well, no, I, I do it at home. No, sir. Well, that's good. But when you, what you do out in public, you ought to confess. That's right. Yes. Amen. I better leave that alone. Good alone. preaching. Good preaching, man. Holy hope. The question concerning our Christian liberty is who are we pleasing? Amen. Our liberty is, as Paul said, when 
he says, therefore, brother, Romans 8, 12, 13, say, therefore, brother, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. You get that? He said, you don't owe sin anything. That's right. That's right. That's what he's saying. He says, uh-uh. You, 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 there's no such thing as you have a right to get your praise on. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't say that you have a right to be able to hear this, hear that, and add that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good preaching. That's what he's saying. Uh -huh. Good preaching, man. We don't have to fight with each other. There you go. Listen to the word. That's right. That's right. And when I am worshiping the Lord, it's old Ruth and we I don't know what really pleasing the flesh is all about. You don't know anything about the Holy Ghost. You don't know anything about the blues. You know, all you know is Jesus loved me. This I know. And then you got a little boom, 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 boom. But no, you need to understand what life is really about. I hate to say this, but I have to say it. Some of our members of the Lord's Church have been right so long and never knew what wrong is. And they don't know what right is. And those are the most dangerous members of the Lord's Church. It's alright to be right, but be careful being too self-righteous. Right. All of us stink. One way or the other. Yeah. I'm going to leave that alone. You right. get it when you get home. Yeah. He said, but if we live after the flesh, we should die after the flesh. But if we live through the spirit, he says what? Do modify. Let me know when my time is close. He said, do modify. That's why I'm saying that we as Christians, we are be changing for the better. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 We ought to be changing. Because he said we have something that we need to modify. Well, yeah. So you tell me that your walk with the Lord is the same today as it was yesterday? Yeah. If you say yes, Brother Brigham, then you say you telling me you still hate that boy the same way you hated him yesterday. Lord, but he said, but when my spirit has been modified by the Lord, I'm under construction. I'm changing every day. That's right. That's but I'm changing yes. up for the Lord. Amen. So the point that Brother Brigham is wanting us to make is that when we have been baptized for the mission of our sins, that we have been what justified, we receive righteousness and redemption of our sin through right. baptism, giving us the newness of the spirit. Amen. Not to no longer live after the flesh, but to live after the Lord. Yeah, yeah. This is the justification that we receive after baptism. Mm -hmm. The penalty of our sin was paid by Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Is nothing you can do for your salvation but to be 